Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'll be creating a fall themed card. I really like the look of the chalk painted milk bottles. So I decided to use that as my inspiration for this project. And the products that I'll be using are the milk can die set, the build a pumpkin patch die set, the trees assortment die set, and the farmhouse shiplap background stamp. I die cut three of the smaller milk bottles from white cardstock, and to get that chalky paint look, I decided to do a direct to paper technique using my Distress Oxide inks because when they dry, they have that chalky finish look to them. So I used bundled sage for one of the milk bottles, and then for the other two milk bottles, I used the antique linen Distress Oxide ink. I was pretty heavy handed in applying the ink because I wanted to make sure that I had good coverage. And once I had the ink applied to all three of the milk bottles, I set those aside for just a moment to make sure that the ink was completely dry before I started to handle them because I didn't want to have fingerprints left in that ink. Once the ink was completely dry, I decided to cut off the tops of the milk bottles and it was really easy to do because the dye actually leaves an embossed impression on that lip right under the lid of the milk bottle. So I just used my scissors to snip those off really quickly. Next, I wanted to add some paint strokes to the bottles. So it looked like some of the chalk paint would be chipped off a little bit. As you noticed, my very first paint stroke, I had way too much paint. So I grabbed a paper towel really quick to wipe that up. And I made sure to use a stiff bristle brush to do that. And I just used plain craft acrylic paint for that technique. Once I added the paint to all of my little milk bottles, I let the paint dry completely and decided that I needed to distress my milk bottles a little bit more. So I used my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and an ink blending brush and just did a really light coat around the edges of all three of the milk bottles. Next, I die cut some of the trees from the Trees Assortment die set. I thought that they would give a nice fall look because they're the bare twigs rather than put flowers into my jars. And to add color, I just used two different brown Copic markers. I wasn't trying to get any shading or anything fancy. I just wanted to add color to them. One thing I did make sure to do was go around the edges of each of the die cut pieces so that none of the white would show through. Once I had all of my trees colored, I used my scissors to snip apart the trio of trees so that they would be separate pieces. Off camera, I die cut the small pumpkins from the Build a Pumpkin Patch die set, and I cut one from a cream colored cardstock and added some texture with my Copic markers. And then I had die cut two from orange cardstock and again added some texture with Copic markers on the orange pumpkins as well. I used liquid glue to adhere the pumpkins to the front of my milk bottles. And on the bundled sage milk bottles, I stamped the word thankful, which is from the Gnome So Thankful stamp set. It's a very small little sentiment and I thought it would fit perfectly underneath that pumpkin and give it more of that fall Thanksgiving feel. Anyway, after I had the pumpkins adhered to the front of the milk bottles, it was time to start adding my twigs into the milk bottles. I would recommend using liquid glue to adhere these uh, because I realized on my second antique linen milk bottle that I started adhering the wrong trees, but I had enough time to take them off and adhere the correct trees. For the antique linen bottles, I just added two of the twiggy branches. For the bundled sage milk bottle, I added three twiggy branches and I made sure to adhere the tallest branch last so that it would be further back. Once I had all of my bits adhered to my milk bottles, I wanted to add some twine to the front of them. So I used just a small piece of washi tape to hold the tail of the twine on the back. Then I wrapped it around three times and I made sure to cut it long enough so that I could tuck it around the back. And then I added another small piece of washi tape just to hold that in place. And I did add that twine to all three of my milk bottles. Next, it was time to work on my background. I had a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. 
I inked up the background stamp with the same antique linen distress oxide ink because I just wanted a very subtle background. Once I inked up my stamp really well, I laid my cardstock on top and then put a piece of scratch paper over the top of that and rubbed the back to get a clean impression. Off camera, I trimmed down that panel just a tiny little bit and then I cut a strip of brown cardstock to go on the bottom so that my milk bottles would have something to rest on, sort of like a shelf. After I adhered my brown piece of cardstock, I just trimmed off the excess with my scissors and adhered that to the front of a top folding sage note card. And I used my corner rounder to round the corners on the shiplap background as well as the card just to soften it up a little bit and also to be go more in line with the rounded corners of the milk bottles. I put foam squares on the back of my milk bottles and placed them on the front of the card. Once I was sure that's where I wanted them to be, I pressed down to adhere them really well and that's it. That finishes up my card for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.